Yo, <clears throat> yo, 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 how you guys doing? Switch to our normal music. How is everybody doing? It's been a while since we streamed, I feel like. Uh, yo, Sn uh, Snoop, Arson, Dot Com, Pride, Quinn, Bailey, Raven Monster. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, okay. Are we gonna have to ban you, Bailey? Uh, uh, yo, I was just literally thinking about something I wanted to talk about right at the beginning of the stream. But I forgot what it was now. Um. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, enjoy the last vid in years time. I'm sure the channel will uh, 2x, 4x the size it is now. I appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed the video. A lot of people seem to enjoy the video. It's so funny. Every time I'm like editing a video and I'm thinking like, oh, man, this isn't great. I'm not loving this. It almost always turns out to be fairly uh, highly received, which is interesting. And I don't know what to make of that. But I'm glad people are enjoying it. Um, it's, it just crossed 10,000 views, so it's cool. Hopefully by the end of the weekend, it'll be at 20. Thank you, Raven. I even got... It's so weird. I got comments from people that like I never um like people in the community that I are like content creators and I know but I didn't realize they watched my content um that's true Quinn and I'm like at, by the time I'm thinking that I'm already like almost a month into working on the video and I'm just so over it so that's that's probably really where it comes from, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe, Carson. When I made the uh, the Rhodes video like a year ago, I thought that was the most boring video I've ever made. <laughs> and it's now the most viewed video on the channel. Actually, I think the... I think the resource pack video actually took it over again. Which is crazy. Let me see. Um, Let's go to this. Boom. Okay. Yeah. 
the resource pack video from four years ago took this video over again. That's crazy. It's about to be a 180. That's so weird. Like, I haven't updated this video or this resource pack probably since this video. I'm really curious. This is so stupid. Why do you have to do that for every single website now? Like, is CurseForge really having an issue with bots? This may be. A uh, little taste of germ. Yeah, 2020. Where'd that go? 2020. <laughs> Four years. Still getting, still getting uh, views. It probably doesn't even work anymore. Crazy. Although it is 116, and I think that's a pretty, like, fairly good version for mods. I don't know. Maybe not. Probably just totally made that up. <clears throat> um, love it when my bus driver fainted mid drive, and then Jermsey streams when I'm back home that's scary they're just here that's crazy though there was a there was a news story i heard the other day <laughs> of a bus driver a school bus driver that um the bus i don't remember i don't know what the like lead up to it was but the the bus there was no kids on the bus thankfully but the bus somehow caught on fire. So instead of just stopping the bus and getting out, the dude literally jumped out of the bus and it veered off the road and crashed into somebody's house and burnt half their house down. What's up with the bus drivers? <laughs> yeah, bus drivers fainting, yeah, bus drivers diving out of the of a moving vehicle. Crazy is that? <laughs> um, builds are actually fire. Thank you, Bailey. I really love that you place blocks on camera. B double invented <laughs> that. Oh, pride. Didn't mean to do that. I was scared. You know what? That's fair, pride. That's fair. Um. Your natural tendencies. Ow, I just had like a pink in my neck. Weird. Uh, welcome to the stream, though. <clears throat> so, in the last episode, I got a lot of feedback of people saying they really want me to continue in this area. My, um, my plans, my plans were to do one more video, like finish up this interior in the survival world. Well, in here, it's not even textured yet. My plans were to finish this, um, add like trees and foliage and any other stuff. There was a tower here that I was gonna, gonna build, but decided against, um, and then that was going to be it. We were going to move on to something else. Probably building up this village and then just covering this area in foliage. But the reception of the last video, people really don't want me to move on yet. And to be fair, I'm not super... I don't know what exactly to do here, but I'm not super ready either. So we're going to try to figure out some stuff to do tonight. And... This is going to sound crazy. But the first thing I want to do is redo this building. <laughs> um, it's only been like a couple months since I built it, but it really doesn't match the style anymore. And I got a lot of comments saying I should also redo it. So I think we're going to be doing that. We do still have the dungeon, but that's not going to be a huge project, really. Uh, I think we might get it started in the next episode, though, because I got an idea for for something to do there. Yeah, but that stuff almost feels like, by the way, I've been working on the mountain. Ignore this thing. This was just get, to get the height. It's not going to look like this. 
gonna look more like this eventually. Um, but this stuff almost feels like a, a different project. Like, just the style is so, like, completely different. So, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna redo that, that building, and we're gonna kind of expand it to be more of an L shape to fill up this space here. And then I'm thinking, potentially, we might move the road. Yo, low res. Wow, we. We might move the road to wrap up and around to there. So we have more space to just fill that area out. Maybe build another building here. Um, the reason I didn't initially build more stuff is because this space that we have up here is so small. Like, I don't want to expand the cliff out any further than this already. Don't really want to build stuff over here because that's going to kind of mess up this view. With the bridges. Or the bridge. Have destroyed building that fell off the cliff. Uh, adding to the overgrown worn feeling. Hmm. That is a cool idea. Where can we do that, though? I mean, this cliff is pretty filled up. I did think about a small build. Maybe we could do that here. I thought about doing like a smallish building here. That like sm small uh, foundation that's kind of tall. Because that wouldn't really screw up our view from here. See cliff side. To do something here potentially. I don't know. Um, remember you said you were going to do Walmart across the valley? True. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we're going to go with an empty strip mall instead. What Pride said. We're just going to flatten this mountain that I made, and we're just going to do a strip mall over here. Um, but what do I want to, work on, want to work on today? Also had another idea that I've kind of had in my mind for a while now, but I haven't known how to do it really because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But thinking about having a bridge, like a, just a straight bridge coming out, straight flat bridge going all the way out over this like valley here. But I leading to what? I don't know. Put it over here. I think it would definitely look cool, but I really don't know what it would be leading to. Another mount, of course. I mean, could be. Another tower could be, maybe, not a bad idea. Viaduct made for shipping ores out of a, uh, out of an amethyst mine? Hmm. An even taller tower. We did raise the build height. What did I raise build height to? I checked in the episode, but I ended up cutting it out. Oop. That doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? Oh. What? I thought that... I thought that works a lot faster. Oh, that's it. 511. I think I did guess that right then. Um, I know I mentioned the extended build height, but I didn't mention what it was. Like, I actually went up and checked. 
I stacked up, uh, what was it? Oh, I think coal ore, because I was, I needed a bunch of coal. So I stacked up as high as I could and it went to build high. But I cut that out of the video. Um, yeah, I am going to do the world tree. I just haven't quite figured it out exactly yet. Have you built this so well and haven't gotten noticed by a hermit craft yet? Uh, I don't know. I'm not too concerned about it, though. <laughs> um. Divine Tower. Yeah, that's kind of the idea. I mean, that was kind of sort of the inspiration for this. This stuff. I mean, that would be a tall if we went. I mean, obviously not all the way to build higher, but. I want to just see why did I do that. I want to just see. Like a super tall tower. Just see what it looks like. Dormitory. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the idea for if I build another building here, that would be the idea for that. Dormitories. Like right there. This is not what we're gonna do, but I just want to see what it looks like. Area with the hands. What? In Elden? I don't remember. Area with the hands. Hmm. remember hurry up man wait have I been here oh yeah I was there super super early in my my playthrough so I don't remember. I don't remember that. Wait, do I? Maybe I... I think I vaguely do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I went to this place super early on in my playthrough. Because I was... Uh, I was exploring Rayo Lucaria for inspiration for this project. And this is like right up the road. What was the... What, why'd you bring this up? Just asking. Um, can you make a video sometime? Maybe a short on how you make your fall season look at trees. I love them so much. Um, that's not a bad idea. Maybe. Build another mountain hill. Build a manor over there. Like dorms and housing for professors. Hmm, interesting. I don't know. I mean, there's really, there really is so much potential for like stuff we can do. Only thing is I don't want to overdo it, you know? Uh, Taurus is what we want. Yeah. What the, f what? Wrong one. No, that's not the right one. Um, let's go with that. And then. No. What am I trying to do? This. No. What? Huh? Crazy? Why is this doing this? I feel like this didn't do this before. Okay, weird.
<clears throat> Come all the way down. And then... Go up super high. That would definitely be too tall. I don't think I want a tower there. You know, we could... We could just... Build, like, a bridge that leads to nothing like I was... Like I was originally thinking, and then figure that out later. That really wouldn't be... So bad. That bringing up terrain to look odd? Yeah, like I did... Here. Would probably be. There's, there's some nice, nice rocks. It's guys. Can you believe it? It's almost been a year since we were here working on this, on stream. How crazy is that? Be kind of odd for a while. Yeah, but I mean. I don't know. I don't think it'd be too. I don't think it'd be too big of a problem. Uh, let's not do that. So crazy. <laughs> All right. All right, pride. Okay. How do I need to do this? It's been a while since I've used Archeon. I guess I don't need to do that. Yo, Wig. How's it going? Oh, we need to lower this down. If we're going to do this. Uh, so my idea was bridge coming out here. We build up the cliff a little further this way and then move the road so it leads up to the just the side of this bridge here. Or this road, I guess. Because that feels kind of like... Feels like something I've seen in Elden Ring before. Um, let's maybe start from, like, here. Because the cliff will come out a bit. Bring this back a little bit. I mean, this is, like, a magical place, so... If something doesn't make sense... We can just blame magic. Um... Uh... Arc? No. Wait, is it? Arc. Wait, what am I? No, it is arch. Yeah, yeah. Arch. White. Blame magic for all my problems, too. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it's an easy cop out. Go nine wide. Yeah, good. Oh, why does it do that? I forgot that that does that. Wait, that's not a nine. That's 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'd have to go seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. What do you guys think? Pretty good? I think that's good. Undo. I mean, I don't remember the perimeters for this. 
arguments. Just have to figure this out. Five is the depth of this. Okay. Let's turn that, change that to. I mean, we can change that later. Make it seven for now. Six is something. Five. Okay. That's how many arches there are. That's what we need. Whoops. Let's also make this like 10. Nope, even further. Uh, let's actually make this like... Then... This D? Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. That's too many. Too many arches. Why are all the... Wait. They're all different sizes. Wait, are they? They are. I don't remember having this much issues with this brush before, or this tool. There's not something for this in uh, Axiom, is there? I don't think so. No. Same, but the arches are different. This one looks thinner than the rest. Man, is insane, like, the fact that this kind of thing is even possible. Well, it should be better. Okay. I guess, yeah. That is what it is. Yeah, they're all seven. And, oh, this is not... That's 19. And the rest are 20. It's this one. Let's undo this. Oh god, I forgot about this stupid bug. <laughs> um, or undo just leaves some chunks. Why did I do that? Oh, that's why I left it. Okay, never mind. Wait, so is that nineteen? Because is that where that was? Okay, yeah. Um, yo, P4. Thank you. Appreciate it. Glad everybody's been, uh, been enjoying it. Got any tips on making a build more immersive? Um,. It depends on what exactly you're talking about. Like for an interior, I feel like just adding something I found is just adding more and more stuff. Like really, especially if you wanted to feel like really lived in, you got to just have stuff, stuff everywhere. Like with this place, I designed the whole room, all the shapes and everything. I mean, just like this, uh, I designed the whole room, all the shapes. And then I started adding like some overgrowth over there. There's some pots hid some of these um, the pink things spore blossoms so we got these particles all over the place uh, added all these cages except this one is broken I should have added some like rubble around it maybe but maybe it's fine uh, a tree root coming in the carpet here instead of just going straight down the middle it's kicked to the side a little bit make it feel a little bit more real got dirt in here got a little bit of grass growing up in some spots candles all over the place and wax dripped onto the ground stack of books for kind of no reason uh candelabras uh but some of them are broken 
Some of them are just straight up missing. I really find that that type of stuff helps me make an area feel more immersive. Some loose change. Dollar bill sitting on the ground. Kind of the same thing with this one, but I went a little less uh, intense with it. In this room, the shadows, I think, help a lot. I think they do a lot of the work. So these, I mean, you can see these walls are very plain. I guess they're not very plain, but they're like, there's no texturing or anything. Because the shadows just do all the work. But same thing in here. We just got stuff. Stuff everywhere. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that helps. That's something that I feel I didn't really off super well in this interior which is why i'm more okay with redoing this building like that area is okay up there is okay this room's actually okay this room over here though pretty boring not grave kind of uh oh i have i wonder if i have that in the real world that lodestone i think i do Uh, I get that lichen kind of stuff to spawn proof, keeping it dark. Oh, what mod? I think it's, I think it's just Gamma Utils. Yeah. You probably could do it with Tweakeroo, but it is Gamma Utils. Um, how you get that stuff? That light stuff. Are you asking me how I get it, or are you adding to the the list of things to add? Is how I get it. You can just bone meal it. Find it in caves. Um, that actually is another good point, though. With um, making an immersive build, I think. I mean, I I feel like not lighting everything up is uh, a good way to get some good immersion. But of course, you want to spawn proof everything, so glow lichen is a really good way. It doesn't glow too much. It still annoys me a little bit that it glows, but uh. That's a good way to keep things dark and really make the actual lights stand out without losing uh, or without letting mod spawn. Man, I think we really need... I cleared out all my texture packs earlier, so I don't have it anymore. But I think we really... I might need to make a light map. I know I talked about it a while ago, but I think a light map, like making the lights more orange, would be really, really cool. They are pretty orange up there. There's a cemetery. There's not. It's not a bad idea, though. Oops. Noon. Okay. What am I doing here? Um, are you gonna make the interior of the other building also look ruined? Which one? The one that we were just in? That one? Probably, because I'm gonna be redoing that building anyways. Cemetery for the dead students. Through. Wouldn't that seem off with the soul lanterns, though? That is true. I was thinking about that. I wonder if there's a mod that adds... Surely there's a mod that adds different colored lighting, right? But it's probably... Uh, I remember using some back in the day, <clears throat> and they were pretty intensive on the... the frame rate. <clears throat> What's Mojang going to add colored lighting? 
True, we are going to have catacombs. That is true. Can I get rid of the complete darkness under the cliff? Uh, no, because I like it. That just adds to the to the depth, I feel like. I know there was one back in the day, maybe around like the 112 version, but I don't know. I'm just thinking how, how I want to do this. Darkness is the point. Yeah, exactly. If it was all lit up, then I'd have to texture it. The darkness on this island, this is what I, I was trying to mimic, like shadows. But uh, like on this one, I don't have to do it because we got the shadows. <laughs> I do think I am going to be doing some stuff under the cliff here. Not necessarily amethyst shards or anything, but I think we're going to be doing something under here. I don't really have the idea fully worked out yet, but. And I don't want to ruin this, this shape. So need to do a lot of thinking on that. Like a shrine or a big statue of the person who founded the school so long ago. Ooh. That's a cool idea. I don't know if you're suggesting this, but do it on the bridge. Like have like a, like in the middle somewhere, have like a big circular area and a big statue on that. Ooh. That's it. Yeah. I don't think at the end. I think a bridge I think just in the middle of the bridge, because I do like the idea of building this out to another mountain eventually. Derm's brain activated. <laughs> this is the first time. First time that's ever happened. I love that idea, though. Extend the bridge just one or two more arches so that the path can go under it. The bridge will extend eventually. I want it to look... Because we're not going to be building... We got this mountain to build first. We're not going to be building a mountain over here anytime soon. So I want it at first. I want to make it look like broken. Like it's supposed to lead to something. Maybe even have like bits floating. And then eventually we'll build that up and build up uh, a connection there. So it'll eventually go over the road, but not for now. man amethyst growth is a very cool idea like i love the idea that just crystals encrusting over things like mold yeah that's there's actually a lot of that i don't know how many of you actually played Elden ring but they're in the ray of luceria magic academy in the game um what's i gonna say oh there there's like crystals just like growing on stuff all over the place So, doing more of that just throughout the entire place would be cool. I'm legit. I've been planning a white arched bridge for a while. <laughs> I can't believe you stole my idea. Oops. You should still do it though, because I want to see how you do it. Um. Had no bites on my PC, so probably keeping it. Sweet. Good. <laughs> um, now we can uh, spend some more nights. I've had a Westeros craft till 4 a.m. Exploring. Okay, I'm just, I'm just thinking right now while reading chat how exactly 
I want to do this. Um, what if you have a school dormitory underground with windows poking out right under the cliff top? Um, that, okay, that was actually my idea for the, what I was going to do under the cliff. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> actually, do I have screenshots? I found... There was an area in Elden Ring that was kind of similar vibes to that. See if I can find it. Oh, here's a good uh, example of what I was talking about. Like the crystals just growing on everything. I wanted to do a room like this with Skulk. Maybe we still can since we're expanding the area now. But I really struggled with figuring out how to do it properly these are like a stack of uh heads basically dude i want to build something in the nether that looks like this so bad all right see you later prad thanks for stopping by Flying, oh yeah, flying candles. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. But yeah, I found this area too, which I'm pretty sure inspired B-dubs uh, thrown in the last season of Hermitcraft. It's kind of funny. I think he even had, like, curtains hanging down like this, didn't he? Or no, that was for the Tree of Whimsy. He had curtains like this. I thought I had... I guess this is the closest thing, but this isn't really... I was thinking, like, some darker builds underneath the cliff. This was kind of the stuff I wanted to do at the or in the end, but I kind of realized that it's kind of just the same thing as what I'm doing now. Somewhere in the near future, Jim is going to turn his whole world into a modded Souls-like adventure map with boss fights. That would be sick. God, I love this game. So beautiful. Here we go. This is. You can't really see from the screenshot, but this is like in a big cave and there's cliffs all around this place. You'd imagine. I'm kind of rethinking our underground area too for this area. Okay, that's it. I'm kind of thinking maybe we do build like an underground city. Would be pretty sick. Because I found some crazy underground stuff in Elden Ring recently. And it's got me pretty inspired to do some stuff. Weeping Peninsula builds? Weeping Peninsula. I can never remember a lot of the names in Elden Ring. I can't type either. Weeping Peninsula, let's see. Ah. Um. The Santa Claus and Elden Ring? Yes. <laughs> Flintstone is what gives them um, magic in Elden Ring. The Ray Lucaria is actually built on top of a giant vein of it. Which is what gives the school its magic properties. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. I didn't know that. It's really hard. I have a really hard time keeping up with the lore in the game. Hanging cage with an ender dragon in it. And the ender dragon is withered away, so it's just a skeleton. But the crystals started to take over parts of the skeleton in the cage and such. 
That sounds crazy. That sounds cool, but I don't know how I would do that. It would have to be massive. I don't think we have the room for that. Unless I made just like a big custom model, but I don't, don't want to do that really. To do like an old underground area with ancient artifacts and other magical elements like in the College of Winter Hold from Skyrim. Skull like idea would fit so well in something like that. Remember that place. I don't know if I ever got there. Um. Oh, that's cool. Pyrex. Thank you. That's really cool. Um. Scarlet Lake, the nether build you just mentioned. If you look at the ceiling, there's a giant crystal. Really? I. I didn't notice that. Interesting. I need to play more Elden Ring. <laughs> I was just playing earlier and I uh, kind of rage quit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I need to play more. My knowledge on Elden Ring is probably way more than anything I learned in school. That's funny. If I could build like you with a program you use, I would try to build uh, Green Gots above and below ground. Oh, is that the um, with the bank? Yeah. I don't really know anything about Harry Potter, but the Lego set of that is cool. Uh, yo Kai, welcome to the stream. Okay. How exactly do I want to do this? What I've been trying to figure out for the past 15 minutes. Let's undo this. Let's, yeah, let's undo this. Let's, um... I can't figure out a good sh oh, huh? Hang on, maybe am I missing some there? Yeah, perfect. Nice. Okay, now let's do that back to ten. Oh, that still looks awful. I guess this is, I guess I've never tried to do this on a straight line before, have I? Aside from this very small section here. Uh, if you go to Nokron, the underground city with that long elevator that takes you down, you can find a similar ceiling to what I talked about. Uh, what you talked about build with the skulk. Yeah, let's let's look that up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was showing screenshots of that that earlier. Let me pull it up again. Yeah, I've got this screenshot even. Took tons of screenshots in this area because I was thinking of building something like this in the end because I felt like it would kind of give that vibe a little bit. But I just decided against it because the style, the build style I wanted to do was basically what we're doing right now. But you know what? I'm thinking... Thinking now... Maybe that's not such a bad idea because people seem to not want me to move on from this yet. So I don't know. Um. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Mm -hmm. 
that's our size, I think. And we have to do some math, I guess. Or we can just reshape these by hand. Probably be the best way to do it. We'll just do this and then we'll copy and paste it to all the other spots. When I'm making a dwarven city in my world, uh, inspiration by the Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. Nice. I never got very far in Skyrim. This wasn't, I don't know, was it for me? I'm not really, <clears throat> not super, super into Bethesda games. Can't, can't get into them. I don't know why. Gonna go for gold or copper? Could do. Why does that have this? Yeah, I got you now. All good. That is not the center. Okay. Yeah, I think that's something I realized. I think we uh, definitely got to add more. More crystals around the area. Probably that. Ow. <clears throat> Gothic arches? Oh, is that? No, let me look. That's like the um the pointed ones, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. We should do that. Very true. Very true. Um, I saw a trick to do those. What was it? It's like putting two circles together. Oh yeah, shape here. Okay, so if we double the size of this, this. Um, how'd you get that beautiful cloud? The better clouds mod. Um, if we do thirty-six, right? I think so. Let's just center that on there for some reason. Why not? Can't center it, that's okay. <clears throat> okay, then we do... Wait, why didn't I? Try that again. Put that there. And then put that... No. 
I'm stupid. <laughs> there? Crazy. I'm doing this all wrong. Probably. So that would be the shape. Would be better with a point in the middle, but. Let's try this first. God. Do this by hand. The We're probably gonna need to make this. Change it and make an odd number. Yeah, that's not working. That's not right. Uh, the playlist I'm listening to is Jazz Essentials on Epidemic. I didn't even realize I had a, uh, a man for that. Still steeper and make single block point metal. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do. that no let's make it smaller rather than bigger that'll be good we'll just redo everything here <clears throat> why don't we take this actually Let me look up, I think it was Vahan that had a thing. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't quite for this though. Okay, okay, okay. I think... I think I understand. I do this. 35. 33. I might be able to get rid of the. I guess I can just break it by hand. Corners there. Do that. And then. That. And then you. Get rid of this. still seems to move of a slope. 
And that would need to be different. What am I doing wrong here? Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, where'd that go? Um... I think I missed some messages. Elden Ring is my favorite game of all time. It's so awesome that you're building based off of that. When I saw your video, I was like, oh, that looks like it's from Elden Ring. Nice. Yeah, I'm. I love, I love Elden Ring, especially the. Um, I mean, I've always loved From Sauce. Um. Level design, I think I genuinely think they're some of the best, if not the best, in the game. Maybe, play all this. I think that shape feels pretty good. I think that's about as close as we're going to get on that scale. And then we can smooth it out with the walls somehow. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Gives me church vibes. Well, it is gothic, so probably why. A little rounder, you think? I feel like that's pretty close to the, well, maybe this should be a little thicker here. Oh, that looks weird. Put walls in here. Uh, yo, uh, diet. Is that right? Or is it Dillette? Welcome to the stream. Do that and then <clears throat> Mojang. Here's something for you. Give us smooth quartz walls, please. Please. That's all I ask. Along with yellow leaves and vertical slabs and uh, maybe like some shingle blocks and some like like a dark tan block and uh... <clears throat> delete. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Viewer build reviews on tips and tricks. Viewer build reviews on tips and tricks. I'm not sure what you're saying, what you're asking. Bloodborne comes uh, close, but something about the open world is a little better to me. But as far as style and atmosphere, Bloodborne wins. I have heard that Bloodborne is the best Souls from a lot of people, Souls-like game. 
I would love to play it someday, but I don't have a PlayStation. I think diagonal one block. One block. One block part of the arch. Just to end it at least. One, two block arch. Right now it looks... Let's get out. I have no idea what you just said, Synthoris. Love your send in picks, ability check out, and then give tips to help, etc. I mean, we kind of do that already, just like in the Discord. Not really like an official thing, but. I've had several people in the past post something in Discord and ask for feedback during the stream. Or is this close to switching to modded? Nah, I'm not really. <clears throat> don't really have any interest in playing with mods that add blocks because then I can't play with uh, the latest version. Yeah, join the Discord, by the way, if you haven't already. Yeah, even just some lighter wall block. Something. Like these don't have the lightness, right? Especially with that shadow. Really needs to be... I mean, once we texture it, it'll be good. Because we'll just texture die right around it, but... <clears throat> don't forget to smash that like button, guys. Ring the bell. Subscribe if you haven't already. Have you guys been getting these like Minecraft YouTube is save or Minecraft videos are saving YouTube? videos and you're recommended lately i've been getting a ton of them and it's always funny it's always a little ironic because i mean not to be mean but all these people i mean the videos are always like well under a thousand views Maybe it's just like the, uh, the algorithm of what I'm watching. Because I do like to try to find good, like, smaller channels to watch. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And they're always talking about like Minecraft YouTube has changed so much in the past few years and it's like <laughs> everything's the same now, which is true. I mean, kind of, not really even. That's not really even true. That opinion kind of annoys me a little bit because you got people like low res who are doing stuff totally different than everybody else. Um, I feel like almost everybody is like trying new stuff right now. But anyways, um, oh yeah, <laughs> they're always saying stuff like that, like, oh, Minecraft YouTube, every video is the same now, every video is overproduced, which, I mean, is was a thing for a while, I feel like, but they fail to realize That now they're all just making the same videos. <laughs> and they're they're just doing the same thing that they're complaining about. Funny. Um could be a prequel. 
Wait. Oh, I heard Elden Ring is a prequel to all Soulsborne games. Each ending leads to the world of a different Soulsborne game. That's interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Watched your world tour video and became a fan. Uh, hope you're doing great and keep up the good work. Keep bleh, keep up the good work. Thank you, random dude on the internet. Appreciate it. You weather it with the bottom of it being the arch, er, then you won't have to deal with trying to use lighter walls. True, true. I mean, that's how I did everything else in this this place, basically. Seen that in the case for hardcore Minecraft videos, but it's kind of the opposite, more like hardcore Minecraft is changing for the better. Saying that hardcore is becoming less clickbaity and more experimental. Because that's kind of the... Yeah, that's kind of the same... Same thing they're saying a little bit. Uh, yeah, I've seen Flow State. I think Warriors did a video with him. Is this... Here, let me show you. In case you don't know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to... Create this shape in the middle. Or if it's the right, that's fine too. Is that, does that work? I think it's close. Something still feels off about it, but I can't say what. Because I might get in trouble. <laughs> no. I don't know. Maybe in a bit taller. I mean, it will be. It will be taller. I just cut out this section so we can just focus on this. Then we'll stack it. And it'll be a lot taller. Who liked my tweet? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we got this funny thing in the, uh, going on in the Discord right now. There's been some leaks coming out of the Minecraft movie. And for some reason, it's only been, literally only been trees, like tree props from the movie. So I said, the only thing, I keep posting the, uh, oh, more pointy. Hmm. Oh, I think I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe. But uh, I said the only thing I'm going to post that leaks from that movie is going to be... Uh, it's just going to be trees. <laughs> only leaks I want to post is trees. There was one rock. Did I post it? I don't remember. I thought it'd be really funny though. The only thing that leaks from this entire movie is, is trees. Messed that up. Uh, there. Like that? Maybe. That's not too bad. Man, if only we had vertical walls, though. It's such a minor thing, but the... The walls not being perfectly half of that block... Is bugging me. You'll never notice it, though.
I'm so interested to see what the what the costume design for the movie is going to be like. Do a pattern. Maybe do the pattern of block and wall all the way up like the last two uh, blocks. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you need. Right height. No bucket required. I don't. Is that? Blue shirt and jeans. Okay, fair. I guess I mean like, is there gonna be any CGI element to it at all? Like, are they gonna make them look blocky <laughs> somehow? I don't know, cause the trees are all blocky. Whoops. Wonder what creepers look, que creeper? creepers will look like. Yeah, gonna be. I'm I'm really interested to see what the animals and creatures are gonna look like. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Jab Cab. I mean. Definitely wouldn't look good. But... But what? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. <clears throat> I kind of imagine it's probably going to be like a... Um, Minecraft story mode situation where... It's just like an alternate. And, uh, just like a... I don't, know, I don't even know what you would call it. Alternate story? In the timeline? I don't know. I think it's probably not going to be canon to the main real game. Go to here. Back all the way down. Okay. Interesting. Oh, but we don't actually... We don't want to stack it that many times. <clears throat> because I think... I think I want to do... that statue thing, like, right there. <clears throat> Jack Block. Wait. Oh, I messed it up again. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe not that big, maybe 19. Go away, oh, bleh. Man, I can't talk. Go away, Xander. I 
I've been, uh, I've been trying to find some other, like I mentioned earlier, I've been trying to find some other YouTubers to watch lately, like building YouTubers, and I've been really struggling to find anything. I've got a couple, a couple smaller building YouTubers that I like, but they don't upload. Upload, uh, super common at all. So I started rewatching the old, some of the older building with B-dubs episodes. And man, they are super, super enjoyable. Like, like 2014, like starting around 2014. The flow state. The flow state. Mm, no. All right, Jam Cat. Um, it's bad. It's a bad channel name, but I like Wheat. I think. Is he the one that built like that, uh, crazy like Cliff Island thing recently? I think I've been watching his his channel. Hey, yo, Bills, I do know, I do know that name. Yeah, Wheat's cool. I am subscribed to Pay Bills. I don't, wait, oh, I've been on the wrong capture this whole time. Uh, I guess I watch his videos. <laughs> I can't remember. And of course, the best part is crafting the netherite. I don't really remember much about this guy, but I, I mean, I've watched all his videos apparently. Well, I guess I like him. <laughs> Um, let's get rid of this tree. Let's do it like this. Okay. <clears throat> Smear this down now. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you. 
Okay. How wide is this? One, two, three, four. Wait. Is that an even number? Oh boy. Uh, that's annoying. <laughs> Okay, let's undo all that. Yeah. I uh, really like Dukon Reds, Duconia's Rising. Um, Risen Series is Survival Vanilla Minecraft with Conquest Texture Pack. Yeah, that was a really good series. Always loved uh, Yukon stuff. He came back for a little bit, didn't he? But I, I, did he did he stop doing YouTube again? I think he did. That's a rip indeed. All right, easy fix. And then let's move this to there. Yeah. Wait, did I? Okay, good. I undid that tree removal. All right, that's good. That's good. And then... Then... One, two, three, four, five, six... All right, see you later, Carson. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Ooh, that is pretty sick. Let's replace this orange with white. So we get the full effect. Uh, this is a mod called Axiom. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, boom. And then maybe we just, for now, we'll just cut. Oh, let's break it up. Try to mimic the effect a little bit. Favorite IRL castle? Conway. What is Conway? My favorite's the White Castle. Um, hmm. That's a cool castle. I don't know if I have a favorite. Magic Academy based on something? It is based on Rhea Luceria from Elden Ring. White Castle Great Sliders, true. I mean, not really. <laughs> They're not really that great, but... They are sliders. That is true. Uh, that's a cool one, too. I do really like... Is it a castle, though? 
Um, is this a castle technically? This is really cool. Also this, this is a very famous one. This one's really cool. Not just based off of it, you literally ripped off the name True. Love your build style. Any tips? Um, for Gothic? That's a monastery? Really? Interesting. For Gothic, lots and lots of arches. And peaked roos. Other than that, I would just study like real Gothic architecture. That's how I came out with a lot of this. A lot of this stuff. Always, always have a hard time with like ruined stuff. Like I think I don't ever go far enough. It's also kind of thinking like some floating bits. Kind of also had the idea to have like make it look like there's like. Something going on here. It's magical. There's magic afoot. <laughs> I don't know. That's something. Is it good? I don't know. I think we need more. Oh, true, true, true. Iron trapdoors. Like plane. Uh. I did not know that, Jonathan. Good thing I didn't use that as my answer, though. Because that was that was my first thought. I don't know about those arches. You should look up Gothic arches, then. Maybe you'll learn something. <laughs> no, just kidding. I I don't I don't know. I'm not loving them either, to be honest. At least up close. I think from a distance. From the distance, they definitely look good. I think once it's all textured and stuff, it'll look it'll look fine. Oh, I do like those float. Okay, those that floating stuff is pretty sick. Maybe we have like some chunks missing over here. What's that? Oh. Weird. Um. Yeah, for now, it's just going to trail off. Eventually, I think I would love to build another mountain over here. But we got a mountain there to finish first. Or, to, I mean, really even start. Um, so for now, it's just going to trail off until we figure out exactly what we want to do over there. Okay. That looks decent. I mean, really, we can, we can figure it out better in the future. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not loving that. 
that shape there. Okay. So the idea is to have a big statue here. Probably like partially in ruin. That's looking pretty sick. The only thing I'm worried about is the design of how are we going to detail this tower? This big round part. Yeah, I would love to see more leaf colors. Red leaves, orange leaves, yellow leaves. Give me them all. Imagine there's just a big, this hill is smoothed out a little bit, big valley here with a big field in the middle. Oh, I've got like a million screenshots when I was trying to <laughs> figure out the thumbnail for the last video. Not a great thumbnail or a great screenshot. There, it's better. Wheat all the way down in the middle. Grading and gradient, uh, gradiating into acacia saplings into tall grass. I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, no, that is. This is just gonna be a mountain. This is just. I just wanted to get the height figured out, because I. Uh, Wanted to make sure it wasn't peeking over from this side, which it's not. Not even close. This is all going to be smoothed out to look like this. This type of terrain here, eventually. I think we need to... I think we need to shrink down this cylinder. Let's build a couple, or let's do a couple things here. Uh, we can just do this. Boom. So, let's actually undo. Whoops. Move it down. We had a statue in the middle. Ugh. Boom. Boom. Like. That width. I want to have like a platform probably then a statue on top of that. We still have a decent amount of room to get around this. Um, but. Not a ton. And that's pretty small. Hmm. Big target. That's going to be cool on the map. Yeah, I don't know. I 
That's a circumference of 19 or diameter. 19? What is this one over here? Surely. I think might even be smaller. Like there. I think that's the exact same, yeah. Night. No, oh, it is smaller. Yeah, it is smaller. So, I guess that shouldn't be too difficult to detail then. We could even really just copy a lot of these details onto that. All to that. Digging the new hoof. I'm gonna talk tonight. Thanks, Mog. Ignore this part. That'll be... That'll look like this. Eventually. Uh, right now we're working on... A bridge leading to nothing right now. But eventually I would like to do another mountain there. How you doing, Mog? What type of statue would you make? Uh, the person that suggested it... What did they say? I don't even remember now. Um... Where is it? Right around here somewhere. To make a big shrine or a big statue of the person who founded the school so long ago. Right. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so it'll be like the... It'll be something like that. Like the founder. Yeah, big wizard. Something along those lines. Good man, late my late night grinding. Same. Grind our way on some builds. Man. I mean, once we detail that, it'll look fine. But right now, it's very ugly. <laughs> the this. But if we have the orange around the outside here is supposed to mark the uh, railing. That's why I did that. We got railing. All. Yeah. There. Yeah, that's plenty of room to walk around. Wizard dude smoking a pipe would go crazy. That would go crazy. It would be very difficult to do, though. I'm not very good at uh not very good at statues. These ones here work because they're a little like I mean they're small. You already have to use your imagination because it's so small. So it's like Yeah, that's a person. It's kind of a person. Same with this one. But these ones I did over here. They're okay, but there's something, this one's not great. Something off about them. Can't quite put my finger on. Also, it's easier to do it on an angle, I found, because then you don't gotta do like a nose and mouth. This is gonna be interesting. We'll figure it out, though. Uh, bro's building the Divine Tower of Khaled now. <laughs> yeah, we thought about it for a second. Hmm. What did I do for the railing over here? Let's just copy this. Well, we can't really, but... 
We'll do this along the edge. Do I still like that? Yeah, I think so. That, that. We'll probably have some raised up bits like this. Probably the cloak that makes it, uh, or probably the cloak looking a bit like hair that makes it feel off true. True. I don't know what to do. I think that's how that was. Didn't think about that. That's okay. That's great. Thing's freaking huge. It's so. It's gonna take so long to detail. Wish you could flip the trap door with no redstone. Uh, connection without world edit. Yeah. That would be nice. This is cool. I like this. Is there a mushroom down there? Yeah, I would like to see something like the debug, uh, debug, the debug stick in, uh, in survival, but it would be really hard to balance, I feel like, because like, where do you, obviously you can't have all the functionality of the debug stick in survival, because then you could just like create water out of thin air. So like, where do you... Where would you where would you, where do you stop with that? I don't know. <laughs> Your voice crack killing me. Yeah, just like the old days. I don't know why my voice is so messed up tonight. Uh, let's go like that. <clears throat> Wrench could work just to rotate blocks. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Turn torches off like that one April Fool's update. That'd be cool. Would be cool to have the ability to have like just like you can with a lit candle. Just like right click on it to put it out. Even if they never go out on their own, just the ability to put it out. That'd be that'd be neat. Neato. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I just had an idea. How do I do this? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I think I need to build up an Elden Ring. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, but where is this? Oh, I think I know where it is. I'm booting up Elden Ring. We gotta find something really quick. Because I got an idea, but I can't exactly picture what it looks like uh if you weather the bottom 
of the arches you won't have to worry about dealing with the limited selection of lights colored walls yeah yeah we talked about that earlier can you hear the game no you can't it'll be very loud for a second so it's good <clears throat> <clears throat> Man, I don't know why my voice is so... So screwed up today. <clears throat> okay. Here, I'll show you guys. Um, they can add popped up when you read it earlier. Ah, okay. We should also look at that place because of the bridge. This, this right here. What do you call this? Does anybody know what you call this thing right here? stream i've thought about doing elden ring streams how do you like my fit it looked totally ridiculous shrine i'm sure there's more of a like, actual name for what this is there's like a name for everything in gothic architecture turret maybe god i got so much crap open hang on i mean not let me not show my. Give me a second. Let's do this. Game capture. This. Specific window. Elden. No. Oh. Elden ring. Okay. There we go. Don't really want to show everything. <clears throat> Turret. Let's see. Um. Turret architecture maybe it could be hmm it goes hard thank you got the double what do I see oh equipment got the double Gucci katana <laughs> Dripped out. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what that's called, but that would be cool. I also want to. Oh, don't die. That's fine if I die. I want to get down. Is that? Where's that at? Game looks fire with a castle and everything. Yeah, this game is beautiful. Uh, go here. The one is specifically a shrine, but gothic people like to put statues and recesses all the time. Yeah. Look at that. We definitely gotta add some more buildings to our our place. You can totally see the inspiration though, can't you? Okay, but I want to look at this bridge over here. What's this? Have I been here? Wait. Surely I've been here. Why did I do that? <laughs> okay, I guess we're doing Elden Ring stream. Oh, I've been here. 
stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, we're just on the other side now. Ever play this game? It is very difficult, but it's amazing. I love it. Yeah, I think we got pretty... I think, I mean, the bridge definitely fits the vibe that we made. Oh, there's a thing here. Oh, what the heck? How have we never been here? If you like, um... <laughs> yeah. If you like, like, Skyrim or... I've heard Breath of the Wild is a good, uh... I mean, like, kind of similar vibe. I feel like that, but extremely difficult. I think you'd like this game. I actually prefer Breath of the Wild gameplay-wise. Goodness. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So if we did like, hmm, take a screenshot of this. Screenshot. There we go. And also, I want to see what this is. I don't know how I've never explored this area before. We have Minecraft. Let's play this game. Maybe I should do some streams of this. Where'd the music go? Oops. This is a totally new. I just made this. Uh, this thing super quick, so. Uh, add. This. This. This, this, no. Hang on, <laughs> sorry. Hang on. Should be doing this in studio mode, but too late now. Browser, there we go. That's that's it. Also, could add. There we go. So that's kind of the vibe I was going for with the original uh, giant tree that I made. But it works in this game, but I don't think it translates super well to Minecraft. Because it's like in Minecraft, it's, it's just going to be too boring. Because it's so massive. Uh, but I get some other ideas for how how we could do a giant world tree in the future. Yeah, I think I can build all that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not now, but. I think um, yes, sir. I think I did stuff like this is going to be good. wish I knew. I'm sure. I'm sure there's like a really weird specific name for this thing. But I don't know. Can I get to there from there? No. Uh. Oh, that's a good idea. It will 
let's let's try to get it on an angle so it sees the, the arches there yeah if this comes up comes up with anything aside from oh great yeah ai generate images that's what i want thank you thank you for that very helpful google okay yeah turret yeah i guess you're right minor in art architecture history all right that's uh i guess that's enough <laughs> i guess that's enough credibility Okay, cool. Good to know. Sweet. Who are you? Are you something? Are you somebody important? I don't think so. They all the same. Ooh, that looks ugly. See that balcony there? <laughs> Guess I didn't finish that. What are you finding stuff like that? This game's so massive, there's bound to be plenty of unfinished stuff very reminiscent of the niches at oxford oh that's not that's not right Okay. I have 73 hours on this playthrough. Crazy. Okay. Back to Minecraft. Wait, did I take screenshots? <laughs> yeah, I did. Where'd they go, though? Screenshots. Three statues at Can Canterbury. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could totally see that. Um, where? Oh, there they are. Okay. Wait, did I really not take a screenshot of it up close? <laughs> Idiot. Okay. Oh, we can figure it out. Uh, Zelda Ring basically just hard Skyrim. I never played Elden Ring, but I've met, I've played a ton of Skyrim, so I was thinking of downloading it. Kind of. Um, kind of. I like it way more than I ever liked Skyrim. Uh, it plays kind of similarly. It's basically what I wanted from Skyrim, I feel like. Gothic Pinnacle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a bunch of these, but didn't know what they were called. Yeah. 
let's see if I can replicate this. I did get a picture of it from the ground. If we go like, let's make a line. Actually, hmm, I wonder. Um, here it is. Mm, no, we'll just do this by hand or with lines. Will this work? Or will this be too weird? Do that for now. That. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's Axiom. The mod. Minecraft mod. Something like that. Maybe this? You know what, let's let's go crazy with this. Let's grab walls, uh fence gate, glass. Two, three, two, three, two, one, two, one, two, okay. Too high. Yeah, you're right, this is not wide enough. Um, I might have to add... I think it might be wide enough. I'm thinking it would be a 3x3. Three three. Like, we probably don't have enough room to add like a statue, but... Like that. Basically that shape. But I don't really like the shape of this, so. Mainly just this here. You'd have to do a statue, I think. Gotta get creative with trapdoors. Hmm. Maybe. We'll try. Let's... Let me think. Just for now, just to get this shape right. Grab some red sandstone stuff. Just because that's orange. Um, very weird shape. 
That's pretty close. What is it missing though? I'm not texturing. I'm not texturing with orange. I'm just getting the shape. I kind of hate when I get like that like white behind something it's supposed to be like a distinct shape we need slat or walls here and that's connecting to this It'll probably be a better spot anyways for these taller sections. If you use the debug stick and use Lightmatica, no, it won't work. There's like some certain blocks that it'll work with. Like I think right now there's a bug where corner stairs will auto place with Lightmatica, but it would have to be like a single one like you can't update it after you place it because then it'll just update to what it's supposed to be every uh every like major game version there seems to be a, a one of those bugs with lightmatica where you can do some illegal placements but it always gets fixed in the next one love this And I think it's because I'm doing it out of orange. <laughs> well, let's not do it out of orange. I don't think we're going to texture it very differently than the rest of the place do that let's do stone stone brick stone for that man i wish we had like a, a stair version of this or stuff like that be nice think you could have built the mountain without limatica <laughs> I could have, but it, I would probably still be working on it. I mean, I am still working on it. And I have Lightmatica. Okay. Love. Man. Put to say here. That's better. That's better. Lightness, anyways. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We're not going to do this here. I think we need like some separation right under this. Maybe not right there, maybe here. Yeah. I think so. Let's 
Let's copy and paste it a couple times just to really get the, the feel of it. Random missing blocks is so weird considering Minecraft is one of the most, the world's most popular games ever seen by Microsoft. Like an intern could patch that up in less than a week, but no. It's not even about that though. It's just their weird rules for what blocks should and shouldn't have stairs and slabs and whatever. Is that good? What do you guys think? Structural integrity. What, you think it sticks out too far? Is that what you mean? Oh, 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 for the stairs and slabs stuff. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I get it for, I get it for some stuff. Like dirt, we don't really need. I would like to have like dirt slabs, but I get it. But yeah, stuff like quartz walls. I mean, we have tons of quartz blocks, but only two of them have stairs and slabs. Fix the way slabs and stairs interact with the light. What do you mean? They did, didn't they? I remember back in the day, everybody would complain about light not passing through. Like, when you would do a wall like this, like a window, light wouldn't pass through that. But they finally fixed it, like, probably 113. Red nether brick, true. Yeah. And then there was another big one I realized the other day. What was it? <laughs> Funny, every time you send a message, Mug, someone in chat, hey. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, there's so many. I mean, of course, the diorite, granite, and the site not having like we have polished, oops, polished, polished blackstone bricks, tough bricks, deep slate bricks, but not andesite, uh, granite, diorite. And these don't even have wall versions? The diorite, granite, andesite? Yeah, I don't know. Regular stone not having a wall? Yeah. Yeah. That is a bummer. Like, I feel like... Excluding wood, everything that has a stair should also have a wall. And the same thing for slabs. Everything that has a slab should have a wall and a stair. Like. That is really weird. That there's no stone wall. Okay. 
I don't know. I don't get that. Like, I remember 114 was amazing because they added so many. Like, all those missing slabs of stairs we didn't have for years. Like, we didn't have diorite slabs and stairs for, I don't know, probably like four years. Maybe five years after they added diorite. But, like, they added so much stuff, but they didn't go, like, they didn't go all the way. There's so much more they could have added still. I was so excited when I saw how the archaeology brush originally shaved away layers. Yeah, but they didn't, I mean, right off, they said like immediately that that wasn't, you weren't going to be able to keep those, those layers. I would love to see sand layers, but I think I would agree with that. Uh, X FO dude. I want sand layers before dirt layer or dirt slabs. Marble blocks would be nice. Do we need another white block though? I mean, how different is marble than... Like, if you're talking about, like, white marble, which I think is what most people think of when you see marble, how different is that really than, like, diorite or calcite? Like, smooth or polished? Polished diorite or calcite? I mean, that's... It's pretty close. Calcite deserves andesite, granite, diorite treatment. I agree. They did it with tough. So hopefully, hopefully that means, I mean, I'm sure it doesn't mean, but it at least opens the potential for getting stairs and slabs stuff for this. Oh, that'd be so nice for this place. Um, yeah, 114 still was one of the best updates for builders. Like back in the day, they did not, they did not really, um, cater to builders much at all. I think a lot of people probably forget that like for years we would ask like a builders for like a builders update or. You know, stuff that would just add stairs and slabs and that type of stuff. Now we get like a million blocks in every update. Kind of crazy. Like how many new cop, j like just copper alone. How many new copper variants did we get in this update? One, two. I mean, I guess, oh, three, four, I guess if you wanted to count the trap door and door, which I would. Five. Five times four. So 20. Crazy. Legit no green stair slab in the game. Yeah. They need to watch. Mojang does need to watch. What's that guy's name? this guy they need to watch this guy's videos missing colors of minecraft this guy has a lot of really cool videos highly recommend highly recommended if you uh if you don't watch him Wait, what? Education edition is dumb. I didn't see that video. That's funny. We have to watch that. OK. 
okay. I feel like they made a prototype, they got okayed, and immediately implemented without remembering to do the walls, uh, stair, etc. For what? Calcite? Wasn't... When they first added it, wasn't it something else besides calcite, like in the snapshots? There was something different about geodes. I don't remember what it was though. Oh, wait, what's a geo generator now? Okay, that's what it was. It was, they used to generate with tough instead of smooth basalt, which this is another weird one. Basalt? Why do we have three variants that are nearly identical? Like, I guess this one's a little different, but like, it's such a weird set of blocks. And then they're nearly identical to Deep Slate. I guess they're more blue, but. Like, that's another weird set of blocks. Can you show what features your world gen data pack has? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> uh, it has a bunch of, on the CurseForge page or Modern page, there's a bunch of, I mean, it shows in this, the gallery, a lot of the features. And without having calcite slabs of stairs because the bright white building block is covered by quartz. That's that's fair, I guess. But it's still not really, I mean it's not the same brightness. Or even the same hue. Because there's some like the pinkish orangish tints in here a little bit. grayscale blacks i mean there's no easy way to really do that but yeah there are a lot there are a lot <laughs> something i realized the other day you guys remember this was a long time ago so i don't know how many people were even paying attention to minecraft back then but the uh 113 minecon uh, ocean update reveal there were slabs for coral blocks can you imagine having those now be incredible granted it was when they didn't have uh, they didn't have unique textures for the dead coral yet but still what was that update called update aquatic Um, where did I see it? I was looking at it just the other day. Here it is. Yeah, slabs. That's dead coral. Even the live coral had slabs. This looks so bad. <laughs> I'm glad they changed the textures. Just yikes. Looks straight out of like a 2011 Coral mod. Yeah, man. That would have been incredible, but <laughs> it would have been another thing to complain about because I'm sure it wouldn't have had stairs. So yeah.
It's like old netherrack. Yeah, it kind of does. I can see that. I don't think they were ever in a snapshot or like bedrock beta. Where are the dead versions? Dead coral. No. Wait, this is a texture. Oh, they were not. Uh, where does this come from? That's just a recreation. Yeah. Would have been nice. Was that texture reused for something else? It looks familiar. No. Coral is also, uh, also a living creature. Are they plants? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what coral is. Um, Rose is something like a fungus. Ah, okay. Interesting. I think others like a gen could really improve by the Senate creators like them. I think they are getting. I think that Mojang is getting better at listening to the community. And I mean, stuff like that, at the end of the day, it is a pretty minor thing. But still. It would be nice to have that stuff. Um, true, it is a minor thing, but it's a minor thing for so many things. I'm just saying, if Mojang approaches you and asks for a black idea, I think the benefits would be crazy from that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that'd be cool, but... The Jersey block. Yeah, it's just a block with my face on it. That'd be sick. <laughs> this makes <laughs> reminds me of like a uh, like a parachute landing. But Mojang cycles through a ton of different ideas and prototypes until they land on one they like. I don't understand how though. Yeah, I uh where was it? 
if you guys don't listen to the spawn chunks podcast you really should um they just had it's pixel riffs and joel duggan that host it they just had olraf on last week or the week before maybe and he talked about a little bit about prototyping uh and they do these things called prototype fridays apparently where the the mojang does basically have just like all friday or i guess some friday some of the day friday i don't know exactly uh but where they have the ability to just like prototype whatever whatever idea they have in their mind um apparently that's how the mace came to be which is pretty cool But yeah, who knows? Who knows what what they uh what they're working on. I don't love that shape. It'd be so interesting to see all the, uh, I mean, this would never, ever happen, I'm sure. But the ability to see, like, all the stuff that's been prototyped over the years, it'd be really cool to see, but you know, <laughs> it would make so many people mad because they would see stuff that they want. I mean, just look at how mad people got about the April Fool's update. But it would be really cool to see. Confident that we'll see all colors of wood get filled in, and hopefully, while doing so, they co co cover some new leaf colors. Yeah, I think so too. I think that's the direction they've been moving for a while. Is we got, I mean, all the new wood types we've gotten since, I mean, since they added new wood types again. The Netherwoods covered magenta, cyan. We got yellow, kind of. Kind of counts. I think it does. Some people say it doesn't, but I do. Pink. Red. We need a green. We need like a... Like a, like a true blue. Light blue would be cool. A light gray would be really cool. And like an actual white. Yeah, I think it does. Every time I say that, though, <laughs> in stream, for some reason, people argue that it's not. Yeah, I wish. I wish so bad. They would have just added, like, a, do like an all-sided version of the green. I mean, just basically like this is. And then give us slabs and stairs for all that. We were so close. We could have, we could have had it all. No, but we could have had, it would have been so easy. Just give us green. Come on. They should just add those uh, potato. <laughs> those potato planks. Moss is green. Are there playing some moss? Well, oh, that's news to me. <laughs> uh, okay. About two of these. Two. Chain. Boom. Boom. No. One. Handle. Who did I use it there? Light gray. Okay. 
Um, we're missing blue, light blue, purple, green, lime, and grayscale ones. Yeah. And a black, a black plank would be sick. I don't know what I'd use it for. Oh, I do know what I'd use it for, actually. Burnt, like burnt wood. Black and dark gray. That'd be so sick. I really hope the next update is an end update only only for the reason that we would get some new we would probably get some new like foliage like we did just like we do with the nether update get some new like foliage type stuff that could potentially add planks this kind of works it's a little feels a little lazy though whoops hmm how can we improve this um dark oak and birch might count for white and black like they're not gonna add terracotta to the game that's the actual color sure but the difference with terracotta is that it's supposed to look like a stained version of the regular terracotta like they didn't add they didn't really add these to fill the colors of like i mean they had wool at the time for like the actual colors um i don't know i don't think I don't think adding black or white planks is totally off the table. Black logs with green planks. Be interesting. Hmm. Oh. That's kind of trippy. I would love red leaves. I feel like that shape that was along the bottom of that roof, very similar to this. I want to use, I've been trying to use these for a while because these give like a really good arch look to them. Hmm. I wish I didn't exit out of that, or I would uh, would have taken a screenshot of that thing. Okay, here we go. Here's a picture. Tree with colors like the wood from Minecraft Dungeons Swaggy, S Soggy Swamp would be great. I don't remember how those looked. We do something like maybe even whoops. No, let's just use that. Maybe even like full blocks for this to give the more rounded feel. We did like I don't think this is gonna work. <clears throat> yeah, not that. That is tough. Wall 
Walls don't connect to these, right? I'm sure they don't. No, that's a shame. Uh, I just be mossy oak planks. Yeah, I'm not sure. Would you ever do a series with the Conquest Reforged mod? Um, let me tell you something. Seven years ago. That is crazy. I was one of the first people to make videos on Conquest Reforged. I was on the very first, like, server for Conquest Reforged. What is that skin? <laughs> Pride. Hey, there's Nukon. We talked about him earlier. And Sausage. Uh Oh god, sausage used to be <laughs> even more even crazier than he is now. <laughs> was that Rumble Vastin? No. This is way before even Rumble Vastin. I think Minecraft, is that even Oh yeah, they do still have a page here. I guess I was a few months behind. September 8th was made, March 22nd. But this was one of the first servers, I remember that. But... That being said, no. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not, I don't know. I have a hard time getting into Conquest just because it's like so overwhelming. There's too many options for me. Like you would think as a builder, that'd be great. Like, what was that? What did that say? 20 or 18,000 blocks? Um, there is such a thing as too much, too many options for me, anyways. You know, this is almost something I feel like. Ruined it. I think the whole premise of the hammer is basically conquest with historically inspired building style shaders. Uh, yeah. I love that series. I wish he'd do it. Do it more, but. Yeah. Conquest used to be my favorite mod, but yeah, the options became a little overwhelming. But still one of the best building mods, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, I would say it is one of the best building mods for sure, but it's just not my cup of tea. Anvils? Maybe. I don't think this idea will work. Mm, no. That's... Hmm. Actually. Okay, get this out of here. It's throwing me off. Is this something?
feels expensive. You know what? <laughs> it actually is for me. I am literally completely out of iron in my world. I just spent a bunch of iron on, uh, well, anvils because I installed that shulker box um, tool tip mod. Or shulker, shulker plus, that's what it is. Where you can take shulker, put in an item, and it doesn't work on the server. But it, uh, it'll show the item on the top of the shulker. Oh, man. But it, you have to do it in an anvil. So it takes a lot. A lot of anvils. Especially when you have like over a hundred shulker boxes in one area. Which is what this screenshot is from. It's funny. Um, when are you going to be doing a new world download? I'm not sure. Maybe next episode. It is episode 25. No iron farm. I do have an iron farm. It just doesn't work anymore for some reason. So I think I'm going to make a new one in the, the dungeon down there. I've got an interesting idea for that. We'll see if I can pull off. Yeah, basically no iron fire. Is this? I don't think this is good. I feel like it's almost, it's almost something. But I can't get it, can't get it quite there for some reason. Quite to where it needs to be. Uh, thanks, Fried. Appreciate it. I mean, this just looks like nonsense, I feel like. Than the anvils would probably be just this. Because you don't have gaps in the back. Yeah, I was trying to like mimic some sort of support there, but I don't know. doesn't fit the theme because of the colors all 
Where can I force that? Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Oh, but then it... Dang it. Do that. This is the same amount of aesthetic. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. If we can make all this... If we had copper... Wait, I, I, okay, I, I got another thing we need from one of the old April Fool's updates. Copper. What are these called? Cauldrons. We had copper cauldrons? Perfect. I do wonder, how would it look? Dupe. <laughs> copper. Um, wall. We have copper walls. Cauldron, get on it. Well, hmm. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Um... You know, I'm not hating this now. I'm not hating this. At least that with like deep slate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trapdoor. Cover trapdoor on the cauldron. You try it, but I don't know. I think that's going to start removing the effect. I don't hate the texture so much. I don't think it really adds anything, though. I think it only removes. I mean, I want that shape there. Try and put candles on the stone brick wall, too. Yeah, maybe. One twenty three to Jermsey update. That's what this game needs. Get the Jermsey block. Copper cauldrons. Copper walls. Copper candles. <laughs> Ooh, copper chains. Ooh. All right. See you later, Sebastian. Thanks for stopping by. Dang, we've been going for three hours already. I'm feeling it a little bit. What time is it? 2.30. Okay. I think... What do you guys think of this shape? If you, had, if you don't know, if you weren't here earlier... Trying to replicate this shape here. These like, um, crap, what did Mog call them? <laughs> uh, turret, turret, that's what it was. Niched turrets, that's right. I think. We did pretty good here.
I don't think that's too bad at all. The bottom section could maybe use some more work. I think it's very similar to this, what you built. Okay, cool. And does it look good? <laughs> That's the main question. Does it actually look good? Be honest. I don't think it looks bad necessarily. Does it look good? That is, that is the key question. I think the glass messes with it a bit. Well, then it really messes up the shape. Wait, why did that? Oh, I guess that wouldn't update you. Nah, I gotta have the glass there. It feels a lot bigger than the body. That is true. Um, do this way. Yeah, that is true. You're right. Go up. Go up two. Then we can lower it back down. We need to. That's way too tall. Why not columns come up from the railing that have a roof on that? Not sure what you mean. I don't think clear, clear glass would work as well. Now that looks weird. Hmm. Maybe we add these blocks back. I really wish we could just pull out that section without having to use the panes. Maybe iron bars. Actually glass. You know what, regular glass might work in this case. Hmm, no. Iron bars though. That's it. Right? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Even put that in there. Nice. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Um, let's do Let's do, uh, I think I'm going to make this a different texture. Nope. Don't want to do that. No, I don't, because this all needs to be recreated in survival. And we can't do that stuff in survival, so. Even if we gave ourselves, like, access to the debug stick in survival, we can't actually use it in survival. Like if we added a recipe or something.
I want to see if there's anything better. Mm, I do think I like that more. You know something I would like to see from Axiom is Conquest Reforged has this. I, you can press a button. I don't remember what button it is, but you can press a button and it opens up this window. Let's see if I can pull it up. Yeah, here. It opens up this. And you can select all the different versions. Whoa, okay, this is not what I was talking about, actually. Or maybe it is. This feels like it's a fork of that feature. But this is basically what it is. Maybe I should suggest that. It was a Vigo man. How long ago was this? 2019? Wow. Something like that for Axiom would be really cool. Uh, Alright, see you later. Uh, lie? <laughs> Have a good one. Have a good night. I don't get how easy place works or fast place because it works when I don't want it to and doesn't when I want it to. I mean, it you just got to toggle it. Okay, once we texture this, this will look even better. Like the base texture it with uh, andesite and sandstone. <laughs> Copy and paste this a bunch. Uh, yes, that's good. Man, very happy with this. Still got a ton of work to do here, but whoops. Do that. But this is a really good first step. Uh, what are control keybinds? I don't know what you mean. Uh, you know, like what the hermits did? Do you also play monkey keybinds? Um, the only thing that I've changed, I think, I changed sprint to a button on my mouse, like right. I have two extra buttons on my mouse uh, to go like, it's like page back and forth in uh, like it's meant for like a browser. But I use one of them for sprinting. Other than that though, I don't really have any weird keybinds I don't think. That I could think of. I don't know. I used to, I used to have shit like a long, long time ago. I used to have shift as X. Cause uh, I broke my pinky as a child. My pinky was very weak for a long time. But uh, I know I just use shift now. At the edge, you can make them look like they're falling apart like the bridge. Yeah, we'll, we'll vary them up. So some of them will probably be broken. Some of them might even be completely missing. I'm going to be honest. I think this version needs to be wider now. I'm going to be honest. I have shift on sprint and control on crouch. Interesting.
move this. Oh, we're gonna have to reshape the circle though. Okay, we'll do this separately. Grab there. Maybe even two. Maybe not. I mean, I don't know. If I add two to this, that's going to make it five, nine wide. The walkway nine wide. I guess we can always undo it. Let's try it. always reminds me of fix fix is old vast and streams back in the day This, hmm. This feels good from here. What about from the ground? Oof, we made a mess. I'm gonna have to get rid of this tree, aren't I? Yeah, I think either way, I should get rid of this tree. Got a weather mod installed? No. What you use? Wait, what? Mod on options for more lightning in the game? No, I don't use any mod for more lightning. Unless you mean lighting? I don't know. Um. But even lighting, I, I don't really know what you mean. Only mod that I have that's kind of related to lighting is Gamma. Gamma Utils. But, I mean, really, it's not even... Better options in the game. I mean, I got Sodium installed. That adds that. I have mod menu for this uh and also cloth where is it because it doesn't show up here cloth config so you can actually edit stuff in here if you're talking about this this is essentials other than that i'm not sure what you could be meaning I have made a mess.
God, I've really made a mess. Uh, okay. Okay, you know what? Let's go all the way down here. And all the way down here. Oh. Do all that at once. Then... Bring this out. Bring this out. Okay. Same thing over here. And then from here all the way down to there. Okay, good. Uh, getting extended to the other side as well like that way you mean oh you mean this yeah yeah i will uh, i mainly just started with this because i wanted to see how it looked and then i just kept going um we're definitely gonna have to change this we're probably gonna have to change this side anyways because i need to change the circle now Well, I guess not necessarily. I could just move the circle. And then move all all this along with it. And let's go ahead and do this really quick, too. Gonna have to redo that daily, the detailing, but that's okay.
Is that same on both sides? Yeah, it is. All right, and then, oops, extend this out. No, 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 we don't want to do that yet. We got to move all of this. Uh, yo, uh, Niffler the Great, welcome to the stream. Let's select everything. Operations, trigger updates, trigger updates, trigger updates, trigger updates. Trigger updates. You see, I'm looking right here. See how many blocks are updated. Gotta do it until it says zero. Why is it still saying nine every time? What is happening? Okay, if it does it two more times. And I'm done. Okay. Don't know what it's updating, but <laughs> that works. All right. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm digging that. This cylinder, I'm still not sold on entirely. But we can work on it. That arch shape, I think, is pretty good. Those towers, I like. Um, we don't re I don't know how we're gonna fit some sort of statue in there. What could we do here? I mean, we could go like super, super simple. On the circle, we're going to have a big statue on the, like right there. We can go just like that. That'd probably be good enough. But is there any way we can make it better? Armor stand, I kind of hate armor stands. If that's all we can do, I might, but I don't know. The armor stand and the banners are the two things in the game that I feel do not fit the art style at all. And I'm not a fan of. Two grindstones with player head. I thought about that, but I don't, <laughs> I, I don't think so. Do this. Eh. Anvil instead of deep slate. Like that. Or like that. I mean, from that angle, it kind of works. Yeah. Hmm. No, not that. If that just like continued down to this shape, and also the hopper. Uh, 
I don't know. His ears broke. It's weird. I don't know. I think we'll leave it like that for now. Let's do this. Boom, boom. I'll uh I'll play around with that more later on. Cool. Um, do I want to copy that to here? I guess not yet. So we'd be terraforming all this out, and I might, I might, uh, I might not do that same thing right here. We'll see. Good of you. From like over here. Don't see it yet here. Wow, you don't see it until like here. It's pretty crazy. Dragon egg, I see no problems with using them as a building blocks in the survival world, yeah. Oh, I need to update the sign. I put this sign here before we even started this place. Kaikawa, that's our Japanese kingdom way up here. That's kind of funny. Because it also doesn't seem like that long ago. Yeah, you start to see it there. That's cool. And you'll see the statue once we have that built. Uh, see you later, Niffler. How do you get that big arrow on the sign? Is it not just... Oh. How did I do that? It's like Windows period? Yeah. If you do on your keyboard, hold win the Windows key and press period, it'll pop up with a uh, like an emoji window. And the arrow, I believe, is one of them. Go down, arrow, that's not right, it's a different arrow, hmm, I don't know how I did that arrow, I'm sure you can find somewhere online that'll tell you, ooh, that is going to be cool though. That's going to be pretty sick. That. We needed that. We definitely needed that. Yeah, that's sick. Now, imagine. <laughs> massive mountain over here. That that's leading into. You know, I may even keep that broken whenever we build whatever over here and just have like, like the Elden Ring bridge that we were looking at, have like chunks of it falling and be completely broken down rather than just like repairing that and continuing it over. I think that would look a lot cooler having some of it broken down. There you go. Nice. Does that show up? No, it doesn't. Sir. Hmm. What'd you search to find that? Weird. Oh, they even got. Whoa.
I didn't know they had support for these emojis in the game. That's kind of crazy. What are some weird ones we can do? A woman, a man. <laughs> Those are funny. Old man. Oh. King. Queen. Oh, that's a queen. Cop. Oh, that's a funny symbol for a cop. <laughs> Do another sign. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, I didn't search, I just scrolled through the symbols. Ah, okay. Arrow tab within the symbols tab. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, wow, they even have like these like copy pasta ones. That's interesting. Huh. Yo, Otho. How's it going? Yo, DVDM. Uh, is there something on this new mountain that you built? Uh, what are you asking? This is a new mountain. That's what you're asking. Very work in progress, though. This will not look anything like this once it's done. This is, I just did this so I can get the tallest point and we're gonna smooth it all from there. Yo, Jake Taylor. Wow, everybody coming in now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna end it there because we've been going for almost four hours. Crazy. Um, so, yeah. Man, my voice is jacked up tonight. <laughs> but, we might, um, modern use it for building, Axiom. A-X-I-O-M. Axiom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that, but I got to sleep. But at least you got three and a half hours of VOD to watch now. <laughs> Where am I from? United States. And we did some really cool stuff today. We even played Elden Ring for a little bit. <laughs> I'm very happy with this though. I'm very happy with this. We definitely need to make the end look a little more broken up though. Like bigger chunks. But okay, yeah. That's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully pretty soon. My dogs understand what I'm saying at the end of a stream now. They know to jump up as soon as I say it, like whatever it was I just said. So funny. All right, see you guys.